Many of you are familiar with Daniel Defense, Wilson Combat, you know, and others that are considered top tier guns. I have heard, you know, them referred to as Gucci guns. Uh, not me, but anyway, regardless of how you view them, you know, their cost puts them in a category that is, is out of a lot of people's reach. Now, there is a brand new company. I mean, brand new Fort Mills Firearms. Now, I have to be honest, other than what I have learned about talking with them and getting to review this, I know absolutely nothing about them. Um, thus, their request that I give their gun an honest review and honest feedback. Now, I will say that uh, they were very intentional and specific that I was to do my thing and be completely honest in review, good or bad. You know, I, I believe, quote, hold nothing back. When a company tells me that, that's big for me, okay? That says that they actually want a review. They don't want, uh, basically, a commercial. Now, so this is one of the first guns that they've actually put together, basically a prototype. Um, the idea is to find out if there's any issues before sort of going into full production. And, and what do I think? Let's just see what we can do with the micro prism, test some different ammo with this uh, at 50 yards and find out what it likes and then see how far we can go up the hill with the prism. Barrel will be broken. Then I'm gonna switch to the optic. We'll go to 100 yards, test a variety of ammo and grains and see what it likes best and, and what kind of accuracy you can expect out of this gun. Nice! <laughs> I like it. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. Now, their goal is to specifically offer, you know, a top-tier gun using many of the same components, you know, as the Gucci guns from those, you know, the big boys uh, at a significantly lower cost. Maybe even bringing it into the price range of a lot of, for a lot of people that uh, would not normally be able to afford one of the top-tier guns. Now, Take a look at the specs and tech so you know what we're talking about. And then we're going to get it zeroed using one of my favorite optics um, for an SBR, the Primary Arms SLX 3X Micro Prism. Now, I've done a review on this for the 5.56, for the 7.62 by 39. Okay, you can check those out, but I love this optic and it's perfect for something of this size. Okay, real quick here, I just wanna go over the FMF 15 before we really get going and get it dirty and broke in. We've got the charging handle here. At, it's a nice charging handle. Um, now this is a piston system, so it's gonna, it's gonna look different. And it's just going back to front. Okay. We will end up putting an adapter on here so I can use my can. We've got the gas block here with the piston system and it comes, okay, it comes with the instructions, superlative arms, and this is gonna give us very detailed instructions on how to adjust this gas block. I have to say out of all the gas blocks and ARs that I've ever had, this has more adjustment capability than anything that I've actually encountered. Okay, this, that is for the piston plug. Um, and I'm not seeing that we're gonna do anything with that. The gas adjustment screw, that's this Allen wrench. Let me show you. Okay, so there's the gas block. Okay, 
There's the gas adjustment there on the bottom and we follow the directions and we've got about, what did it say, 40? Yeah, we've got, it looks like about 48 options all the way to bleed off mode. It tells us here for the brass ejection, basically letting us know how well we have made the adjustment aside from functionality. Um, the directions are outstanding, guys. Um, I don't think you're gonna have any problem getting your gas block adjusted exactly the way you need it. And we've got everything that we need. Okay, so here's the lower that came with it. I did them separate just in case, um, you know, maybe when they're up and running, you're looking at doing an upper or a lower. Anyway, this is the lower that they sent. Um, it's got that nice Magpul pistol grip. I really like that. Uh, we've got a quick detach here. It did come with the buffer tube that has the adjustments. You know, I'm guessing uh, if you SBR it or something, you know, or if they end up reversing. But anyway, that's what it came with. Uh, you know, pretty, pretty kiss. The trigger, now they have a mil spec trigger, but it's polished. So let's just put that to the test. Okay, there's just a little bit of creep, not a lot. I wouldn't say that there's mush. There's definitely no grit. Here's the reset. I like that, you know, that's a mil spec reset. And you know, guys, for a mil spec trigger, that's about as good as it's going to get. Okay, let's see what we've got for pounds on that. We got there uh, five and a half. You know, that's not bad for mil spec. About the same. You're going to be hard pressed to find a better mil spec. Uh, it's definitely, you know, not a match for a lot of you. That's going to be perfectly acceptable. You know, the only thing that I guess I would suggest, you know, sort of at this level would be, I would like to have an ambidextrous. Okay. You know, at, at that price range, I want ambidextrous. Other than that, you know, it really does uh, have, you know, the bells and the whistles. Okay, so what I want to start doing now is trying some different ammo and see what groups the best here at 50. I mean, with a short barrel like this, um, you know, I don't think too many people are going to put a high power scope. That's why I love this three power prismatic optic. So, you know, I want to see what we can get with what we're most likely going to use at 50 yards because I always with setups like this do a battlefield zero anyway let's take a look at the ammo and start grouping what i also want to do is i want to wait 10 minutes in between the five shot groups um you know to best i guess control barrel heat uh so that we truly are getting uh consistent results with each of the different loads I think that was a really tight group. Um, actually, I forgot, I got binoculars right here. Yeah, holy smokes. Oh, all five of those are almost, well, four of them are touching and, wow, yeah, that's a nice group. Okay, I'm working on another gun here. Actually, I'm working on three guns here at the same time. And then barrels can be really picky as far as their zero cold bore versus, you know, how warm they like to be to get you the best group. I may have been waiting too long on these. Um, 
So I'm going to just fire off one full metal jacket, and then I'm going to, and then I've got the five rounds of this. So let's just get rid of uh, our full metal jacket. All right, now I want to try to group these and see how that does. That's a solid group. I may have to try those 62 grain um, on another one. In fact, I might do that right now, just out of curiosity. Okay, so our barrel's definitely warm. I wanna go back to the 62 grain, the Hornady Black here um, on a fresh target and see if it groups any different than it, it did here just a, a few minutes ago. Really, that was, that's about the same as before, I think, if we measured it. I think we're okay on the other groups. Okay, so we got the Winchester M855, the green tip. Again, this is supposed to be designed and really like the, the 62 to 69 grain. Um, yeah, I mean, we've actually had, I think, some of our best groups with not necessarily in that, but let's see how this one does. Okay, just gonna do one final group here with our range ammo, the full metal jacket, to see what kind of group we get with that. It, you know, if we can get a decent group, that's what I'd like to bang on the steel at some distance and have some fun with, just because I have more of that than I do anything else. So let's see what we get here for a final group. You know, that's really not too bad. Do a couple clicks to the right, and I think we're solid. All right, let's go take a look at our groups. All right, so I can't remember who's who. Well, uh, that, that's a good one. You know, that one's, yeah, okay. Overall, I think that is the winner we may have to repeat that to see what it does yeah nah yeah this one this one's not bad either um that might be number two aside from the flinch here that one's really solid in fact i think that was our 62 grain black which made us go and do another one there and then there's two shots in there so two three four five that one and eh. okay then the 55 grain full metal jacket that's not bad you know i'm gonna make a couple adjustments to the right if we can get most of these on this then that's what we're going to use for banging on the steel i'm pretty sure this was a sierra match king but anyway there we go guys at 50 yards with a 3x prismatic optic I got what I wanted, at least at this point. Now I want to bang on some steel. Okay, so here's what I'm seeing up there at 400. There we go. That's what I'm using to bang at 400. Okay, so I think we got it zeroed in pretty good at the 50 yards. Doing, you know, that's going to give us the battlefield zero. Let's see if uh, we're on at 300. Okay, let's give it a go here at 400. All right, I'm using the third, sorry, second line down. Let's try, uh, let's try a couple more there.
Nice! <laughs> I like that. Okay, I was using second line down and we've got just a little bit of crosswind, so I used the first dot to the left on the second line down. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button, keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend at the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, I would say that works pretty well. You decide what you think thus far. Let's put a scope on it and see what we can get for accuracy at 100 yards now that the barrel, you know, is pretty well seasoned. Okay, so I got this on my SBR lower. I've got a trigger tech, custom trigger in there with about, uh, you know, two and a half pound pull. This is a really nice trigger. I've got an older Nikon, a P308 optic on here, but, you know, I think that's more than enough to test accuracy out of 11 and a half inch barrel i've got some aacs the 77 grain match king um let's just see what we can do that's what it liked the best with the prismatic optic let's uh let's see what we can get here i had a couple of test groups and they you know they really weren't too bad Yeah, it's a pretty nice, solid group, uh, all considering. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for 10 minutes inside, get it back to what it was, and then we'll we'll go through a couple different types of ammo. Okay, we got the 62 grain Hornady Black. Let's see how that does. That's kind of the area that this is basically recommended for, 62 to 69. Right, let's go take a look at these groups. Okay, so here is uh, where I was getting zeroed with the 55 grain full metal jacket. That's actually really good for range ammo. Um, had another group over here with the, the range ammo getting it zeroed. And this was the 55 grain, uh, what was it, A-Max or V-Max. Okay, five shots. That's a nice tight group. There's, oh, that's awesome. That's five shots. That's that uh, Sierra Match King, the 77 grain AAC. Love that. I'm going to say that that's, you know, that's an MOA group. That's solid. Um, I did another one here with the 77 grain, uh, some wind and some temperature differences. And then this is where I started with the 70, what is it, the 75 grain. Okay, uh, it's off here. Anyway, I had, uh, I had a flyer. And a couple as the barrel was heating up, but this was kind of the group I was looking at. Anyway, um, I forgot I wanted to throw up the 62 grain Hornady. Let's do that quick. All right, guys. 
Like I always say, it is what it is. This is our Hornady Black, the 62 grain full metal jacket. Uh, there's a total of 10 shots here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, maybe there was three there. You know, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, real quick, before I forget, I was talking with the owners, okay, and the gas block comes, they zero it out, and then they turn it to 18, and have found that 18 works, you know, pretty much for non-suppressed and suppressed, and actually that's proven to work just fine. So when you get this, if you get this, and you get the directions, it's at 18. So you might want to just go with it there rather than zero it out and completely start over just a thought there you have it guys it is what it is you decide what you think i hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful if so help support the channel be sure and hit that subscribe button this really does help the most be sure to like and comment until next time happy shooting remember educate our young people to shooting and gun safety and every time that we're shooting all eyes are on us okay everybody's watching you they're watching me that makes you and me, ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So let's be good ambassadors, be a safe and responsible gun owner.